Pope Gregory XVI Latin, Gregorius, the 18th of September 1765 to the 1st of June 1846, born Bartolomeo Alberto Capillari, was head of the Catholic Church and ruler of the Papal States from the 2nd of February 1831 to his death in 1846. He had adopted the name Maro upon entering the religious order of the Camaldolese. Strongly conservative and traditionalist, he opposed democratic and modernizing reforms in the Papal States and throughout Europe, seeing them as fronts for revolutionary leftism. Against these trends Gregory XVI sought to strengthen the religious and political authority of the papacy see Ultramontanism. In the encyclical Mirari Vos, he pronounced it false and absurd, or rather mad, that we must secure and guarantee to each one liberty of conscience. He encouraged missionary activity abroad and condemned the slave trade. However, his harsh repression, financial extravagance and neglectfulness left him deeply unpopular domestically. He is the most recent pope to take the pontifical name, Gregory, and the most recent non-bishop to become pope. Biography <inaudible> 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 Topic. Bartolomeo Alberto Capillari was born at Belluno in the Republic of Venice, on 18 September 1765, to an Italian lower noble family. His parents were from a small village named Pesaris, in Friuli. His father was a lawyer. At the age of 18 Bartolomeo Capillari joined the Order of the Camaldolese part of the Benedictine monastic family and entered the monastery of San Michele in Murano, near Venice. He was ordained a priest in 1787. As a Camaldolese monk, Capillari rapidly gained distinction for his theological and linguistic skills, was assigned to teach philosophy and theology at San. Michel in 1787, at the age of 22. In 1790, at the age of 25, he was appointed censor librorum for his order, as well as for the Holy Office at Venice. He went to Rome in 1795 and in 1799 published a polemic against the Italian Jansenists titled Tu Trionfo della Santa Seed, The Triumph of the Holy See, which passed through various editions in Italy and was translated into several European languages. In 1800 he became a member of the Academy of the Catholic Religion, founded by Pope Pius VII to which he contributed memoirs on theological and philosophical questions. In 1805, at the age of 40, he was appointed abbot of the monastery of San Gregorio on Rome's Caelian Hill, when the army of the French Emperor Napoleon took Rome and arrested and deported Pius VII to France in 1809. Capillari fled to Murano where he taught in the monastery of S. Michel of his order, where he had first become a monk. From there he and a group of monks moved their little college to Padua in 1814. After Napoleon, S. Final defeat, the Congress of Vienna re established the sovereignty of the Papal States over central Italy, and Capillari was called back to Rome to assume the post of Vicar General of the Camaldolese Order. He was then appointed as Councillor to the Inquisition, and later promoted to be Consultor the 29th of February 1820, and then, on 1 October 1826, Prefect of the Congregation of Propaganda Fide, Propagation of the Faith which dealt with all missionary work outside of the Spanish Empire, including missions to the non-Catholic states in Europe. Twice he was offered a bishopric and twice he refused. Cardinal On 21 March 1825, Capillari was created Cardinal in Pector published 13 March 1826 by Pope Leo XII, and shortly afterwards he was asked to negotiate a concordat to safeguard the rights of Catholics in the Low Countries, a diplomatic task which he completed successfully. He also negotiated a peace on behalf of Armenian Catholics with the Ottoman Empire. He publicly condemned the Polish revolutionaries, who he thought were seeking to undermine Russian Tsar Nicholas I efforts to support the Catholic royalist cause in France by forcing him to divert his troops to suppress the uprising in Poland, Gregory had never travelled outside Italy and was most familiar with Venice and Rome. He spoke Italian and Latin fluently, but no other European languages, and did not understand European politics. Gregory XVI however was proficient in Armenian, and Haruti. 
IWN Ajirian Pascal Acher S 1827 Venice edition of works attributed to Severian of Gabala and translated into Armenian was dedicated to him. Topic <laughs> Pontificate. Topic <laughs> Topic <laughs> <laughs> Papal election. Topic. On 2 February 1831, after a 50-day conclave, Capillari was unexpectedly chosen to succeed Pope Pius VIII His election was influenced by the fact that the cardinal considered the most papabile, Giacomo Giustiniani, was vetoed by King Ferdinand VII of Spain. There then arose a deadlock between the other two major candidates, Emmanuel de Gregorio and Bartolomeo Pacca. What finally drove them to make a decision was a message from the Duke of Parma notifying them that revolt was about to break out in the northern Papal States. To resolve the impasse, the cardinals turned to Capillari, but it took 83 ballots for the canonically required two-thirds majority to be reached. At the time of election, Cardinal Capillari was not yet a bishop, he is the most recent man to be elected Pope prior to his episcopal consecration. He was consecrated as bishop by Bartolomeo Pacca, Cardinal Bishop of Ostia and Velletri and Dean of the Sacred College of Cardinals, with Pietro Francesco Galeffi, Cardinal Bishop of Porto e Santa Rufina and Sub-Dean of the Sacred College of Cardinals, and Tommaso Arezzo, Cardinal Bishop of Sabina, acting as co-consecrators. The choice of Gregory XVI as his regnal name was influenced by the fact that he had been abbot of the monastery of San Gregorio on the Colian Hill for more than twenty years, and in honor of Gregory XV, the founder of the Congregation for the Propaganda Propagation of the, Faith. the monastery of S. Gregorio was the same abbey from which Pope Gregory I had dispatched missionaries to England in 596. Topic. Actions. Topic. The Revolution of 1830, which overthrew the House of Bourbon, had just inflicted a severe blow on the Catholic Royalist Party in France. Almost the first act of the new French government was to seize Ancona, thus throwing Italy, and particularly the Papal States, into a state of confusion and political upheaval. In the course of the struggle that ensued, it was more than once necessary to call in Austrian troops to fight the red-shirted Republicans engaged in a guerrilla campaign. The conservative administration of the Papal States postponed their promised reforms after a series of bombings and assassination attempts. The replacement of Tommaso Bernetti by Luigi Lambruschini as Cardinal Secretary of State in 1836 did nothing to appease the situation. In the Northern Territories the leaders of the revolt were middle-class gentry opposed to the general inefficiency of the government. Topic. Governance of the Papal States. Topic. Gregory XVI and Cardinal Lambruschini opposed basic technological innovations such as gas lighting and railways, believing that they would promote commerce and increase the power of the bourgeoisie, leading to demands for liberal reforms which would undermine the monarchical power of the Pope over central Italy. Gregory XVI in fact banned railways in the Papal States, calling them Chemins d'Enfer, road to hell, a play on the French for railroad, chemin de fer, literally, iron road. The insurrections at Viterbo in 1836, in various parts of the legations in 1840, at Ravenna in 1843 and Rimini in 1845, were followed by wholesale executions and draconian sentences of hard labor and exile, but they did not bring the unrest within the Papal States under the control of the authorities. Gregory XVI made great expenditures for defensive, architectural and engineering works, having a monument to Pope Leo XII built by Giuseppe Fabris in 1837. He also lavished patronage on such scholars as Angelo Mai, Giuseppe Mezzofanti, and Gaetano Moroni. This largesse, however, significantly weakened the finances of the Papal States. Topic. Condemnation of the slave trade Topic. In 1839, Gregory XVI issued an apostolic letter against the Atlantic slave trade, in Supremo Apostolatus, in which he wrote, W. E. have judged that it belonged to our pastoral solicitude to exert ourselves to turn away the faithful from the inhuman slave trade in Negroes and all other men. 
d esiring to remove such a shame from all the Christian nations, having fully reflected over the whole question and having taken the advice of many of our venerable brothers the cardinals of the Holy Roman Church, and walking in the footsteps of our predecessors, we warn and adjure earnestly in the Lord faithful Christians of every condition that no one in the future dare to vex anyone, despoil him of his possessions, reduce to servitude, or lend aid and favor to those who give themselves up to these practices, or exercise that inhuman traffic by which the blacks, as if they were not men but rather animals, having been brought into servitude, in no matter what way, are, without any distinction, in contempt of the rights of justice and humanity, bought, sold, and devoted sometimes to the hardest labor. We reprove, then, by virtue of our apostolic authority, all the practices above mentioned as absolutely unworthy of the Christian name. By the same authority we prohibit and strictly forbid any ecclesiastic or lay person from presuming to defend as permissible this traffic in blacks under no matter what pretext or excuse, or from publishing or teaching in any manner whatsoever, in public or privately, opinions contrary to what we have set forth in this apostolic letter. Other activities other important encyclicals issued by Pope Gregory XVI were Solicitudo Ecclesiarum, which stated that in the event of a change of government, the Church would negotiate with the new government for placement of bishops and vacant dioceses issued 1831, Mirari Vos, on liberalism and religious indifferentism issued on 15 August 1832, Quo Graviora, on the pragmatic constitution in the Rhineland issued on 4 October 1833, Singulari Nose, on the ideas of Hugues Felicite Robert de la Mene issued on the 25th of June 1834 and Commissum Divinitas May 17 1835 on church and state Gregory the 16th canonized Veronica Giuliani an Italian mystic during his reign, five saints were canonized, thirty-three servants of God were declared blessed including the Augustinian Simon of Cascia, many new religious orders were founded or supported, and the devotion of the faithful to Mary, the mother of Jesus, increased, both in private and public life. Topic. Death and burial Topic. On 20 May 1846, he felt himself failing in health. A few days later, he was taken ill with facial erysipelas. At first the attack was not thought to be very serious, but on 31 May, his strength suddenly failed, and it was seen that the end was near. Gregory XVI died on 1 June 1846 at age 80. After his funeral, he was buried in St. Peter's Basilica. Topic see also topic Cardinals created by Gregory XVI List of encyclicals of Pope Gregory XVI 1832 Rothschild loan to the Holy See Ludovico Morbioli List of Popes topic References topic, topic Source topic Petricelli della Gattina, Ferdinando 1861. Storia Arcana del Pontificato di Leone XII, Gregorio XVIE Pio X Oja Preliminary della Question Romana di E about con documenti diplomatici per F. Petricelli della Gattina in Italian. Milan, Francesco Colombo, Critical Sylvain, Charles 1889. Gregoire XVI, et son pontificat. Paris, Desclay et de Brouwer. Nielsen, Frederick Christian 1906. Chapter 16, Gregory XVI. The History of the Papacy in the Nineteenth Century, Leo XII to Pius IX. Volume 2. London, J. Murray. pp. 51-101. Fitzhardinge Berkeley, George. 1932. Chapter 7, 8, Ix. Italy in the Making, 1815-1846. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. pp. 90-138. ISBN 978-0-521-07427-8. Ernesto Versesi Tre Pontificati, Leone XII, Pio VIII, Gregorio XVI in Italian. Torino, SOC, Editrice Internazionale. Schmidlin, Joseph Leone XII, Pi VIII et Grégoire XVI, 1823-1846 in French. Vidi. Lefebvre, C., ed. 1948. Gregorio XVI. Parti Seconda. Rome, Pontificia Universita Gregorian. ISBN 978-88-7652-439-4, Laudatory, Stoger, Michael. 1992. Chapter 2. That the World May Believe, The Development of Papal Social Thought on Aboriginal Rights. Sherbrooke, Ontario CA, Mediaspal. p. 
pp. 47–124. ISBN 978-2-89039-549-7. McBrien, Richard P. 2000. Lives of the Popes. HarperCollins. Vying, Vincent. 2001. Belgium and the Holy See from Gregory XVI to Pius IX (1831–1859: Catholic Revival, Society, and Politics in 19th Century Europe). Louvain, Louvain University Press. ISBN 978-90-5867-138-7. Pham, John Peter. 2004. Heirs of the Fishermen. Oxford University Press. Rigoli, Roberto, Gregorio XVI, Una Ricerca Historiographica, Archivum Historiae Pontificiae 44 2006, pp. 141–171, Laudatory, Curran, Charles E., ed. 2003. 5. Reflections on Slavery, 6. The Correction of Common Catholic Teaching. Change in Official Catholic Moral Teachings. Readings in Moral Theology, No. 13. New York, Mawa N.J., Paulist Press. pp. 65-79. ISBN 978-0-8091-4134-0. Chadwick, Owen Chapter 1. A History of the Popes, 1830-1914. New York, Oxford University Press. pp. 1-61. ISBN 978-0-19-926286-1. Francesca Longo, Claudia Zaccagnini, Fabrizio Fabrini 2008. Gregorio XVI Promoter della Arte e della Cultura in Italian. Ospedaletto, Pisa, Pacini. ISBN 978-88-7781-950-5, Laudatori, von Wurzbach, Constantine 1857. Capillari, Bartholomaus Albert. Biographisches Lexikon des Kaiserthums Österreich in German, too. Vienna, Verlag der typographisch literarisch artistischen Anstalt L. C. Zamarski, C. Dittmarsch and Comp. p. 275. Friedrich Wilhelm Botz 1990. Gregor 16. In Botz, Friedrich Wilhelm. Biographisch bibliographisches Kirchenlexikon BBKL in German, too. Ham, Botz, Calls. 327-330. ISBN 3-88309-032-8. Giacomo Martina, Gregorio XVI. In, Massimo Bray, ed., Encyclopedia dei Papi, Istituto della Encyclopedia Italiana, Vol. 3, Innocenzo 8, Giovanni Paolo II, Rome, 2000, OCLC 31358124 Martina, Giacomo, 2002. Gregorio XVI, Papa. In Caravale, Mario. Dizionario Biografico degli Italiani DBI in Italian. 59. Rome, Istituto della Encyclopedia Italiana. Literature by and about Pope Gregory XVI in the German National Library Catalogue.